Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm your host, Pat Sun, and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash infidelity, where we have two excellent stories of cheating wives getting exactly what they deserve. Let's begin. My wife got a disrespectful tattoo, posted by Reddit user Jazzy Time. My ex-wife, Anne, and I are in our mid-30 seconds. We have been married three years, together five years total. After our engagement party, Anne told me she wants to get matching tattoos. I told her I have nothing against tattoos, I just don't want one. After the wedding, she again asked to get matching tattoos. I said no again. I told her she can get a tattoo if she wants, but I'm not interested. She said it's something she wants to do as a couple and won't get one unless I get a matching one. I still refused, but she brings it up again every six months or so and is more insistent every time. Recently she was promoted and transferred to her job. One of her new co-workers has several tattoos and she has spoken to him about it. He suggested I wasn't a man if I was scared to get a tattoo. She asked me if I was scared to get a tattoo. I said, I'm not scared, there's just no reason to do it, then added, I understand why your friend at work would insult my manhood. He's trying to get into your pants, but why would you throw his words in my face? Her response was, if the shoe fits. Then she got up, went to the bedroom and slammed the door. That was when I began to suspect that she was sleeping with the co-worker. She didn't talk to me for two days. A few days later she told me she was going shopping. That evening she came home and showed me her new tattoo, two Chinese symbols on her forearm. She said they mean strength and independence. When I looked closer, I saw there were English letters, JW, beneath the Chinese ones. I asked her about the initials. She was silent a while, took a deep breath, and said they were her co-worker's initials. He had taken her to his tattoo artist. He had suggested those particular Chinese characters. He stayed with her and lent support while she got inked. She wanted to honor that support and their friendship, so she had his initials tattooed beneath the symbols. Controlling my anger, I told her that having another man's initials tattooed on her body was disrespectful to me and that she should have them removed. She said I was trying to control her, that I had said she could have a tattoo, and I refused to share the tattoo experience with her, so she had chosen to share that experience with a friend who wasn't scared of a little needle. I sat there at a loss, wondering how could she not see that it's disrespectful. We barely spoke the next few days and when we did, the tattoo was always the subject. She said I should get over it and there's nothing wrong with having JW's initials tattooed on her arm. I asked if she was sleeping with JW she hesitated, then said yes and actually sneered at me. At least he's a man, she said. The details of our breakup and divorce aren't important, other than to say that it was not contested. The few times we spoke during the process we were civil to each other. The day the divorce was finalized I called and told her I finally had a good reason, so I got a tattoo. I said my tattoo also symbolizes strength and independence. My tattoo is the date our divorce was final. She was silent a while. When she began to cry, I hung up. And then, we have this common exchange between OP and Reddit user Critical Bank. Take solace in the fact that over 95% of attempted long-term relationships between a cheating wife and her affair partner fail within 5 years. So odds are she'll have some random dude's initials on her and have to explain herself to every new guy she's trying to date. He's already moved on from her. <laughs> Look man, I don't know about your wife and her fuck buddy, but you handle this in the most manly way possible. She chose to fuck around and implode her life for such a stupid reason. She will find out soon enough that the dating world is not so kind to a woman in her 30s that has a proven track record of cheating. And now for today's second story. My wife betrayed me. Posted by Reddit user Village OK. So my wife and I have been together for three years. We both fell madly in love with each other when we first met. We instantly moved in together and less than a year after, I proposed to her. We finally got married in April of this year. We've been married now for roughly seven months. It was a fantastic wedding and I can honestly say it was the happiest day of my life. About four months ago, I found out that she had been talking to a guy she met online. She had gone on a date with him. She came clean about it and I forgave her. I asked her why she did it and she said that she felt like our spark was gone and that I wasn't giving her what she needed in our marriage. I forgave her in hopes of change for the better. After that, things were not the same anymore. The arguments were almost non-stop, we would sleep separately on and off. 
She would constantly bring up divorce and tell me how I'm not man enough to support her or fulfill her needs. I really tried my best. We ended up going on a little weekend getaway trip in hopes of bringing that spark back. Two weeks after our trip, I found out that she was still talking to the same guy. I forgave her again. I tried to give her everything she needed, physically, emotionally, financially. Again, things seemed like they were going back to normal. A month later, the argument started again. She would pick fights over the smallest issues, and of course, I was the one to always try to reconcile and make things better. She stopped being intimate with me for two whole months at this point. Fast forward to this past week, we've argued like we never have before. She decided the only option left for us was divorce. I told her that I didn't want a divorce. I wanted our marriage and the life we had together. Two days ago we reconciled again. We decided that we were going to stay together. As always with all the faith and love I had for her, I didn't think twice about the possibility of saving our marriage. Fast forward to yesterday, we got into a really big fight. I told her that she was being a terrible wife and that I deserved better. She ended up telling me that she's on multiple dating sites and she wants to see other people and end our marriage. I didn't know what to say to her after she made that comment. I was hurt and I left the house to give myself space to process things. She eventually texted me and said that she was going to start dating other men, she was done with our marriage and that she is going to file for divorce. She didn't care about my feelings at all. I tried to explain to her that although emotionally she was checked out of the relationship for however long, I was still in love with her and that it wasn't fair for her to start seeing other men while still living together and being married. By the time I got back home, she was gone. She left behind a letter, basically letting me know that she hopes we can still be friends after everything, but that she is going to finally start living her life again. I tried calling her and texting her, but she had blocked me on everything. She didn't come back home until midnight. I tried to talk to her, but she didn't want to have a conversation with me and went straight to bed. Deep down inside, I knew she had been with someone else. In hopes of answers and closure, I grabbed her computer and went through her messages. Her computer is synced with her phone, so all her text messages go to her computer. I dug deep and I found the most devastating thing I could have come across. She had sex with a guy she had just met yesterday on a dating app. It was their first time meeting. She had texted her best friend that her intention was not to sleep with him, but that she felt like the chemistry was right. Apparently this guy is rich, tall, and very good looking. She also told her friend that this is the first time she has had sex in the past two months and ever having sex outside of our relationship. She mentioned that it was exhilarating and that she didn't regret it and that she would do it again. So here's where I'm at. I'm in complete turmoil. I haven't felt like I could breathe in hours, uncontrollably crying on and off, asking myself every question I possibly could. How could the woman I love so much and put on a pedestal do this to me? How did we get to this point? Am I not good enough? Who is this person I thought I knew and married? What happened to our marriage, and when did she stop loving me? What did I do that wasn't good enough for her? On top of everything, I'm plagued with thoughts of her giving herself to someone else and it is absolutely destroying me. I never thought the woman I considered to be my soulmate would do this to me. I know our marriage is over and I know that I will never forgive her. I also accept that whoever she has become, I will never be able to change her. Above all else, I still love her. I still wish things were how they used to be. I wish she would have focused on us and worked harder on our marriage. I know it's going to be a long road of recovering and picking up the broken pieces. It's going to take me a long time to get over this or past it. I don't feel fully ready for the journey ahead, but I know that I'm going to have to try to move on from her. Everything is still so fresh and we haven't spoken since she last went out. I'm going to give myself some time to compose myself, to gather my thoughts and feelings before I try to talk to her again. I'm not sure yet if it's even worth confronting her about sleeping with this random guy she met. If you've read this far, I appreciate you. I just really needed to get this off my chest. And now, for OP's update. I feel like I'm finally growing out of this constant cycle I've been going through with my wife. I heard and listened to a lot of what you guys said, about not having enough self-respect to value myself enough to not put up with how things have been. For once in our relationship, I stopped playing the pick-me game. I stopped giving in to her demands, and I stopped trying to understand her or forgive her. After that night, where she voiced her desire to end our marriage and ended up sleeping with some random guy she met off a dating app, emotionally I have detached myself from her. Everything I used to see in her is gone. The woman I put up on a pedestal is no longer in that place. She's been begging to try to save our marriage. 
The last two days, she has relentlessly tried to convince me that things would change. She even went as far as to sexually try to entice me by flaunting herself around the house. Honestly, that pulled me away even harder. She still doesn't know that I know she slept with him. The only thing she knows is that I'm done with her and our marriage. I can say that this is the first time I've ever felt this way and truly has meant every word of not wanting to reconcile with my wife. This is also the first time she has ever fought for me. But I feel like I'm gone, the damage has been done and that I need to move on with my life. She only started caring once I pulled away completely. I don't think she ever thought that she would lose me. How would she when I've always been there for her and forgiven her? The last interaction I had with her was supposedly her last chance of reconciliation. After days of me not giving in, she finally blamed me for not loving her and for walking away from our marriage. Apparently, I don't love her enough to fix us. She explained to me how she still sees a future and that she doesn't want to lose me. I explained to her that I'm done giving her chances. Instead of focusing on the reasons of why I felt how I did, all she did was blame me for not loving her enough to stay. Now I'm the bad guy, I'm the guy who broke her heart. I'm the one that walked away from her. After she didn't get what she wanted and my response was opposite of what she's used to, her narrative is that her husband is leaving her because he doesn't love her. She's the victim now and the one that is in pain and grieving. She spent the last few days crying in her bedroom alone, often letting me know that I'm an awful husband for watching her cry and not comforting her. Honestly, I'm just tired. I'm tired of caring and loving someone that doesn't respect me. Everything I used to see in her is gone. It's bad to say that I've gotten to this point only when she physically got involved with someone else, but that changed everything for me. It's no longer hard to picture a life without her. Does it still hurt? Yes, but I'm not lying to myself anymore and thinking that there's any type of future with her. Also, I appreciate everyone for their advice and listening to me. Reading all of your posts really helped keep me level-headed and realized where I was wrong in the situation. You guys gave me the strength to change the cycle. I never realized some of the things I was doing that were ultimately rewarding her for her behaviors. I found it in myself to have that respect that I deserve and I've decided I'm fully going through the divorce. OP, I'm glad that you're finally standing up for yourself, but you may want to gather evidence of her affair and start telling people why exactly you guys are divorcing. If you don't, then sooner or later, you'll just find out that she's been telling everyone that you were an abuser, you were cheating on her, or whatever other lies her tiny mind can think of. You need to protect yourself from that aspect too, young man. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat's Hunt to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.